Give me one second while I set up the camera. Hey everyone, it's Deb from the Maniology team with our weekly live Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join us. In case you guys are always wondering, like, how come there's like a long pause right before we start? Part of the reason we do that is because... Um, a lot of times when we like have to cut down the video to edit for like a shorter format or whatever, we have to um, have that intro inside so that way you guys know it's us and we realize if we start exactly when the clock starts, we end up getting cut off. So that's why we give it a few seconds to kind of let everyone else join us and just make sure that we have everything good to go. So if you haven't seen our thumbnail or our description or Tiana who on our live today helping out um, the topic is stamp for a cause if you don't know what stamp for a cause is it's a line that we created and we collaborate with different nonprofit organizations that are focused and committed to helping the planet and people and we partner up with them and we create different plates and bundles that is inspired by their organization. So the very first one that we want to talk about today is our Stamp for a Cause bundle that just came out. It's our newest bundle and it is Sea Turtle Conservancy. So I kind of partially opened things so that way you guys wouldn't have to watch me struggle. And inside our Stamp for a Cause bundle is one plate that is focusing on one organization. So the plate in this bundle is Sea Turtle Conservancy, which is a nonprofit organization focused on helping save the sea turtles. And inside that bundle, you'll get a crystal clear stamper. So let's open this up. It has a special scraper and stamper that is specifically for our Stamp for a Cause line. And, whoops, here is the stamper that goes with it. So, we donate a portion of the proceeds from every Stamp for a Cause plate back to the organization. So every time you purchase one of our Stamp for a Cause plates, you are helping to support different organizations that, again, are committed to helping the planet and people. So for example, our Sea Turtle Conservancy plate um, focuses on helping sea turtles. So a portion of your purchase will go towards helping these very, very cute sea turtles. So inside this bundle is your special stamper and scraper, your plate, and also one polish. So every time we create a bundle, it is one brand new polish. It's not a polish from one of our existing colors or collections. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, completely new and also is selected based on, sorry, I'm trying to read something, <laughs> um, is also selected based on the company's colors or, um, you know, the things that they kind of want to. So we work with the organizations to find out 
what it is that they want to put on their plate. Also, it would probably be something within theme. Obviously, if it's for sea turtles, we're not going to have otters on the plate. Um, but we go back and forth with the organization to find out what it is that they're looking for. Maybe some of their popular sayings or um, maybe even some of their mission statements. And we'll find all kinds of cute things like that on your special stamp for a cause plate so let's make sure here kind of move it so that way you guys don't get the reflection there 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 i think that's a little better so as you can see there's all kinds of really cute designs there's like a sea turtle with um, palm trees on its back and a sea turtle with shells and coral on its back. I believe these items here were selected because these are some uh, things that sea turtles like to eat. This image, oh my gosh, if you go to the website, you'll be able to see um, there's like images of sea turtles hatching and it's so flipping cute like it's so cute seeing their little bodies like just kind of emerge from the sand oh my gosh you have to take a look at the photos um it's adorable so this design was kind of inspired by like newly hatched sea turtles that are going to the ocean so this is them like on the sand i think heading out to the the water so lots of fun designs. Keep beaches clean. And then for, oh, this is something that I learned. Okay, when you go to the beach, um, if you like dig a hole, you know, for fun or whatever to, I don't know, build a sand castle or whatever the case is, make sure that when you leave the beach, you flatten the sand out so that way it can help our little sea turtle friends and other sea life creatures that end up crawling up onto the shore. Apparently, like leaving big holes or big um, obstructions, I guess, on the sand can sometimes cause problems for sea turtles, which is part of the reason why it says dark and flat. So cute. And if you didn't know, I believe sea turtles give birth at nighttime. So that's why there's like, you know, it says dig in the dark and then it has like the moon and then there's like little eggs here. Because sea turtles like to give birth during nighttime and they try to like hide their eggs, I believe. Oh gosh, it's such a cute plate. And I wish you guys could see, well, I mean, you can, you can always go to our listing where it has the Sea Turtle Conservancy bundle or individual plate. And then on the bottom, if you hit the description and details underneath the plate image and product image, you'll see that there's like a whole explanation of the different um, details about how we're supporting Sea Turtle Conservancy. Um, there's even a link to their website, so you can click it and check it out, which is super cute because again, they have a lot of really, really cute images of like all these baby sea turtles and just like some really cool stuff. So I highly recommend that whenever you purchase one of our Stamp for a Cause plates, check out the information below because it's gonna tell you so much more than I can within the 30 minutes to an hour that we're here together. Plus, we're just um, going to be discussing several different plates in this live. So uh, I feel like you'd be better off just like looking, you know, if you want to know about a specific organization, I think you'd be better off taking a look for yourself so that way you can go and visit their website and check out all their resources. They have a lot of great information. Um, I had polished some tips beforehand so that way I could show you like a quick little demo using this plate. I think I'm gonna go for these baby sea turtles because they are just the cutest. So send me good stamping vibes. 
And the color in this bundle is called Kai, which means ocean in Hawaiian. So cute, my little baby sea turtles on the sand. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to say that enough. I just like, I want you all to go to the website and check out their, their baby sea turtle photos. It's just the absolute cutest. So this is one of the designs from our Sea Turtle Conservancy plate. And again, with your kit, if you want to purchase the kit, it'll come with your Stamp for a Cause scraper, Stamp for a Cause stamper, which is this really, really pretty yellow. It kind of looks like a daffodil yellow. And also a special polish that is paired um, and created specifically for the organization. So it is a brand new polish. It's not going to be like one of our old polishes that we sold before so always check those out and the plate will be sold separately in case you don't need any more polishes or you're good on stampers and scrapers you can always purchase the plate individually but if not there's lots of fun options and if you know anyone who is into these types of like non or non-profit organizations or likes to support non-profit organizations this is a great beginning stamping kit because it has everything you need to get started so again it comes with one plate one stamper and scraper and one polish or whoops <laughs> one brand new polish I oiled my hands up so that way you guys wouldn't have to stare at some old crusty cuticles <laughs> and of course now my hands are like slipping all over the place Okay, so let's dive into some of the other plates that we have that we paired up for this, this cause. So we've got tons of different organizations that Maniology has partnered up with. And you guys are going to get to have so much peel porn a ASMR. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. Could you hear the sound? Give me hearts if you could hear the, the sound of me peeling away that blue film. So this is a second <clears throat> organization that we've worked with. This is called the Hawaii Wildlife Fund. This organization focuses on helping Hawaii wildlife, which includes our native fish, um, our native, what is it, sea lions? Wait, seals? No, seals. <laughs> Sorry, brain farts, everyone. Um, okay, you guys can hear it. Wonderful. So one of the most popular fish in Hawaii, which is also our state fish, is the humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. Um, that is quite a mouthful. People usually just say humu humu for short. But this is that fish. Then we have some other fish and other little mammals that are special to Hawaii. So naia, which is Hawaiian word for dolphin. We, in Hawaii, we have a special type of dolphin. Um, Am I, is it the bottom nose of dolphin? Don't quote me on this. If you guys want to learn more about the organization, again, I highly recommend you check about check out their website. I am doing my best to tell you about all these different causes, but there are a lot, so bear with me. Um, and kohula means whale in Hawaiian. So again, Hawaii has a very very healthy ocean life. So would that be the word sea life? <laughs> we have a very healthy sea life. Um, so we have special turtles like the honu, um, which is a Hawaiian word for sea turtle. 
I believe the Honu is, um, sp we have a specific, like, green sea turtle that is so cute. It's got, like, these really, really small little, like, black spots all over its arms and face, and it's so adorable. This, I, what is the word, the English word for it? Okay, so it's funny because, you know, I know some of the Hawaiian words for these items, but I don't necessarily know the English words. So this is called an opihi. In Hawaii, we eat this food, but it's also like a, a shellfish that clings to a rock. Um, a lot of sea life also enjoy eating opihi. Maybe Tiana can help me out and tell me what the, or tell you all what the English word is because I don't know what the English version of opihi is. We've just always called it opihi. <laughs> barnacles, yes. It's a type of barnacle. I think that would be the best way to describe it. So they're also one of their statements is take only photos, leave only bubbles. So of course, when we go to the beach, um, it's not good to take sea life. It's not good to take things like rocks or sand or shells. It's good to just take your photos and don't leave any trash. And of course, you know, um, in Hawaii, we have this phrase called malama da'aina, which means take care of the land. So, you know, this phrase kind of encompasses that, taking care of the ocean, taking care of our land. So the next phrase, plate that we're well I think I'm gonna save um our little demos for after and I'm just gonna show you guys all the plates first so the next plate is coral reef alliance and again all of these plates have a special bundle so they have their own special polish that was released just for these particular plates that matches the theme so this is our third Stamping for a Cause plate, and this is the Coral Reef Alliance plate. And <clears throat> Coral Reef Alliance focuses on helping our coral reef, because if you don't know, a lot of our coral reef is not doing as great as it could be. So they are focused on restoring our, our natural coral reefs, which is super cool. So it says, protect our biodiversity, saving the world's fish. <laughs> I, I think that's, uh, that's the rest of that phrase, saving the world's fish. Rainforest of the sea. Yes, these are all very important for the environment. It's crazy. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of us have seen like those Netflix documentaries about the planet, but a lot of them, when you start to watch several of them, you start to realize how everything is interconnected, how each system relies on another, which is why it's important that we always take care of our planet and take care of our people and take care of the animals. So our next plate is M232, and that is our Surfrider Foundation. The Surfrider Foundation focuses on caring for the ocean. So, ooh, I'm having a struggle trying to get this little blue film off. <laughs> Might be because of my long nails. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. Oh, there we go. So sea urchin in Hawaiian actually is vana. If you didn't know. So yes, coral reefs are losing color because of global warming. Aisha, I completely understand. I usually ask my husband to do it too. <laughs> Um, but the Surfrider Foundation is dedicated to helping clean the ocean, which of course benefits all the sea life that lives there. 
So it says protect our coast, save sea life, save the coral reef, more ocean, less plastic, keep the sea plastic free. Oh, this is so funny. It says respect the locals. Get it? <laughs> <clears throat> So this has all kinds of fun ocean, uh, fun oceans, um, fun designs inspired by the ocean. Okay, so the next organization, we're going to take a break from the ocean plates. Send help someone. <laughs> you know, I want to try this later, but I'm wondering if like putting a piece of tape on the corner and then just like pulling the tape up, if that would also peel up the blue film, like just the corner of the blue film. We should try that later. Figure that out. Okay, so this organization is called Nami Hawaii. <clears throat> Nami Hawaii focuses on mental health and how to help people with different mental health needs. So they have wide resources, or what, I'm sorry, a wide variety of resources that is dedicated to helping others. So it's a really cool organization. I remember when... Um, my cork and I were kind of looking into this organization and, you know, reading about it. They had so many different helpful articles, different helpful, um, I think even groups and stuff like that to discuss, you know, any type of mental health related things. So this plate says good things take time, st stomp out stigma. It's okay not to be okay, which is perfectly true. Um, be kind to your mind. Find your happy place. There's all kinds of uplifting phrases. And I believe the polish that got paired with this was a very, very pretty, like, metallic purple. Our next plate, which doesn't have any blue film, is One Tree Planted Organization. So they focus on fighting deforestation by planting more trees. And there are a bunch of trees that they list on their website that they specifically plant for different reasons um, to help the environment. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but here we have like a cute deer that has um, like branches and leaves for its antlers. And then this is a really cute bear that has like the mountains and trees on its back. Our next organization is Pencils of Promise. I believe Pencils and Promise, um, Pencils of Promise and One Tree Planted are national organizations. Oh. Here we go. So Pencils of Promise helps youth with their education goals and studies. Everyone has promise, share with the world. There's so many fun designs, especially if you're into um, reading books, if you're a teacher, um, if you have kids, there's lots of great designs for that.
like this design this is supposed to be a colored pencil design so can you imagine how cute that would be once we colored in like every single pencil a different color that'd be so much fun readers make great leaders isn't that the truth The last organization we're gonna be discussing today is Hawaii Arts Alliance. So this is a local organization that is committed to helping youth by expanding their minds through different arts. I believe they do not just like painting and things like that, but they also do other arts like dancing as well. So visual arts basically. I believe this is their logo. And we have some cute Polaroids. We have a local version of the Mona Lisa. <clears throat> so again, this organization helps youth by giving them an outlet, whether it's music, painting, drawing, dancing. It's a way for them to express themselves in a safe and healthy way. Art moves us very, very cute. Look at these like super cool paintbrushes that have flowers and things coming out of that. I think I'm definitely going to want to do that design when it's time for us to stamp. So we have quite, quite a long list. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plates, not including our Sea Turtle Conservancy. So it's a total of nine different organizations that are all doing amazing things for our planet and for our people. So if you have time, I highly, highly recommend... Oh, Tiana's so funny. Moana Lisa, that's hilarious. Um, if you have time, I highly recommend taking a look at our websites. Um, and if you're interested in any of these plates, you should... Look up the, well, I think later we're probably going to plug in all of the plate numbers and things. So you can always take a look on the product page and below the product images, there's like description and details. If you click on the description, you'll be able to see a link to the actual website for the organization to learn more about them. But also I believe we give you like a few details about what the, what their um, cause is. So I think let's start with our wildlife fun plate. And also, I realized we're gonna need a few extra tips because we have quite a bit to stamp. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few more so that way I can show you all the different designs you can create with these awesome plates and I'm just using a base that's nearest me which is this gorgeous blue from our past Manny by Me box I think it was uh like the Manny by Me weather report box or a uh, chance of rain I think that was what it was called weather report how funny <laughs> cloud burst that's right Tiana oh no droplet Haha. Ha. That's hilarious. We were so close. It's not doll dance. Um, this is called Droplet. This is B426. Doll dance is just a cream. This has like a pretty pink sheen. It's just the very, very slightest bit. And you can kind of see it too here, especially if I put a like a shiny top coat you can see that pink shift more without the top coat you can't really see it as much it's kind of like um it's a very subtle effect so let's get into it i think i'm gonna pick the state fish the humu humu nuku nuku apua'a 
that was always like such a fun thing to say when you're a kid. Like it's still fun to say now as an adult, but it's, um, it's a whole mouthful. We can see our little fish. I wish we could reverse stamp it. They're such a cute looking fish. Oh my gosh, yeah. Try saying humu humu nuku nuku apua 10 times fast. It's impossible. It's hard to even do it five times fast. I've tried. I've tried many times. <laughs> it's really difficult. Let's do, hmm. I think I wanna do Nami next. I think the English word for that fish, um, like the broad category for that fish is called a trigger fish. It's a type of trigger fish, but Hawaii has a specific type of trigger fish that is only found in Hawaii. And it's such a cute fish. I love how like it has like a small little mouth and I believe it's orange, black, there's like a small strip of blue and I don't know, is it purple or am I imagining that? And also I think there's like white or gray. If we could do a scan of my brain, this is literally what my brain would look like. Half flowers and half brain. <laughs> um... If you don't know, I really enjoy um, like collecting houseplants. I don't know if I'm the best caretaker, but I enjoy collecting houseplants. I've killed, I've killed a few um, during my houseplant journey, but for the most part, I still have some, um, still have a, a healthy collection. Okay, let's do the Coral Reef Alliance plate M293. Think I'm feeling, feeling this coral design. And then afterwards, we're gonna look at all of our stamped creations. So I believe this image is supposed to be like underwater coral. That's why you have those little um, horizontal lines at the top because it's supposed to be like the view underneath the water. And then the next plate we're gonna do is our <clears throat> One Tree Planted Organization. So again, this organization is committed to fighting deforest deforestation by planting more trees. So I think we need one more tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first before I do the stamping demo because if not, you guys are gonna have to wait here forever while the polish dries <laughs> and I don't want you to have to do that okay so I think I like this little design here that has all those pretty trees it has either I feel like this could be either a sunset or a sunrise depending how you color the sky
that looks pretty good. You guys must be sending me great stamping vibes today because we have had really nice pickup <laughs> the entire time. I better not say anymore. I don't want to jinx it. And then the next plate we're going to do is Maniology's, or wait, the Surfrider Foundation. So for the Surfrider Foundation, I think I want to do the waves because that looks like it would make a great ocean design. Especially if you colored it in with all those like different blues or you could even do like a fun um, lead lighting manicure where you stamp that in black over white base and then you just like do some kind of smudge cure thing with our pretty sheer tints. Our rainbow splash collection. I think we also have a really pretty sheer tint teal that would be cool for creating a very colorful blue ocean. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Are you guys talking about that, the blood moon? Did I miss it already? Darn it. Oh yeah, you guys are, shoot. I wanted to watch it. Oh well. There'll be another time, hopefully, in my lifetime. We will see. Um, I think I want to do... I kind of like this design here. Build, innovate, educate. I like that. I'm turning my plate upside down so that way I don't have to scrape downwards and get polish all over the place. Just want to get polish on my little scraping paper. Which again, for those of you who have watched other lives, you know that I just take my very loved used sheets from my sticky stamper that I can no longer use to clean my stamper. And then I repurpose it and use it as like uh, what is this called? Like scraping paper, <laughs> almost. And then last but not least is our Hawaii Arts Alliance organization. And I said I wanted to do this design, which is the paintbrush design, because I think it looks so cool. I feel like I might be missing something because I was like, I thought we have nine plates, but I only have eight tips. We'll have to count again after this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at that. Isn't that super cute? There are only eight organizations. Okay, thanks, Tiana. I thought I was missing one for some reason. Maybe I counted wrong earlier. I must have. Because there is no ninth. So let me show you all of the tips that we created. And I'll just quickly go over the different organizations that it was. This is our Sea Turtle Conservancy Plate. And it has those cute baby sea turtles. This is Hawaii Arts Alliances, committed to helping youth through the arts. This is Pencils of Promise, which is committed to helping educate youth. And I believe, oh, I was like, is this the wildlife, Hawaii wildlife? Let's see. Yes, it is. So, Hawaii Wildlife with our Humuhumu Nuku Nuku Apua'a State Fish, Nami Hawaii, which is committed to helping people get the resources that they need to 
work on their mental health. And then this is our, I want to say our Coral Reef Alliance organization that is helping to combat global warming and um, helping our coral reefs. This organization is for One Tree Planted, which fights deforestation by planting more trees. And then this is our Surf Rider organization that helps clean our seas and dedicates their work to, again, fighting, oh gosh, brain farts. They, they clean our seas. <laughs> they help clean our seas. <laughs> what was the word? Um, helps fight pollution. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but again, all of this information is available on the product listing. So if you are interested in a very specific organization, I highly, highly recommend you... Go to our website, check out the plate that you're interested in, scroll down to the bottom of the product page and look at the details section because again, we do write some information about that. <clears throat> and there's also a link to their website so you can directly check it out and see what, this, um, what that organization is all about. I'm so happy you guys could join us. Thank you so much, Harmony, for all the words of encouragement and the compliments because it was a lot of information today that I was trying to remember. Um, my brain was like <laughs> pooped out in the middle of a few sentences today <laughs> because I was trying to remember everything. So I'm so happy you guys were patient and able to stick through this live with me. In case you missed anything today, don't worry. Again, as soon as we're done, this will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. Plus, you can always rewind any of our lives, and that's in real time. That's the great thing about YouTube Live is that if you're late to the live and you didn't have a chance to hear everything, you can always just rewind it during the actual live and see the stuff that you missed earlier if you want. In, or you can just wait to the end and rewatch the beginning. So completely up to you. But I hope we were able to answer all of your questions today. And if we missed anything, please make sure you leave a comment below so that way we can take a look and respond to you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.